Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. Hope everybody's doing okay this morning. Our prayer request, uh, pray for Roxana and her family. They applied for a visa and the result is coming in a few days. Uh, Roxana, let us know how you're doing on that. If you uh, still need some prayers or if, uh, if it's already happened. Hopefully everything went well. And Amy's grandma's ankles are very sore now. She's in pain and she's going to get checked out. And her aunt has an unspoken request also. Amy, let me know how things go when she goes to the uh, to have her ankles checked out. And um, pray for those who were affected by the California earthquake. Hi, Kitty. And the storm's over, but I'm sure a lot of people are continuing to have problems. So, like with your water pipes and things like that. So, hopefully... Everything will, you know, be taken care of for everybody and get their power back. There's probably still people without power even. So continue to pray for Mr. Bill. He has cancer real bad. Uh, Amy's boyfriend's having foot surgery. Uh, that'd be today. Uh, and pray it goes well for and for a quick recovery. And let us know how it went with, with him, if he's going to be okay or what, how everything went. Uh, Amy, uh, pray that Lawson's foot heals. Pray for Beth and Carmen. They're still feeling bad, and now they don't have water because their water main busted. Hopefully, they'll have that fixed uh, by the time they hear this. Oops. What are you doing, kitty? You're looking for something to eat. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from Genesis 1, 1, and then 27 through 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And, uh, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for, the f for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, Everything that has breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Okay. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Beating as One. Stories have captivated humans since the dawn of creation, functioning as a way to pass down knowledge long before written language existed. We've all known the delight of hearing a, or reading a story and being immediately engaged by such opening lines as once upon a time. The power of a story appears to extend me beyond merely enjoyment. When we listen to a story together, our heartbeats seem to synchronize. Though our individual heartbeats vary over the course of a day and might only match another's coincidentally. New research indicates our hearts may all fall into the same rhythm when we hear the same story at the same time. God begins telling us his story with the words, In the beginning. From the moment Adam and Eve first drew breath, God has used that unfolding story to shape not just our individual lives, but also, and perhaps more importantly, our collective lives and as his children. Through the Bible, most, the most magnificent nonfiction story ever recorded, our hearts as believers in Jesus are joined together as people set apart for his purposes. In response, may our hearts beat in shared rhythm, delighted by the author's creative works, and we may share his story with others, declaring, his story among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. 
inviting them to become part of it too. What part of the story of the Bible most captivates you? With whom can you share it? Thank you, Father, for showing me who you are through the Bible and making me one of your own. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Had a special little visit from Kitty. So <laughs> she's probably snooping around for something to eat, I guess. She just got up from a nap. So I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.